Hey, what's up, you guys? Back at it again with chapter two of Forget Me Not. And I am just excited to start this chapter. <laughs> I know it's been a while, but hey, life gets you busy. <laughs> but yeah, uh, before I start reading, I want to quickly go over that there are currently three Teen Toward Asks currently in the works, so look out for those pretty soon. So yeah, anyway. Let's get on with chapter two. Wanted. Well, it hadn't been a highway. It had actually been a busy street road. Not too far off from this original guess then. His original guess then. <laughs> a street was much better than a highway, since stepping out of the line of bushes and trees that had dived the field from the road meant that he was staring directly at a line of houses. If it had been a highway, it could have been much more effort to locate somewhere with people. Of course, he would have had the road to follow and the possibility of someone picking up a hitchhiker. Had he woken up in the woods with no signs of sounds of people anywhere nearby, it would have been much more difficult finding his way back to a safer area. And with no memories and nothing but a broken gun to his name, he would have left absolutely- he would have been- Fuck. Let me read, brain. Let me read. <laughs> Can't fucking read. I don't do this great fanfic justice. He would have been left absolutely lost in an unfamiliar, potentially dangerous area. Not dangerous for any wildlife, more just the fact he would have been hopelessly lost. Hopeless 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 fuckingly lost. Fuck, what is wrong with me today? Even if I had woken up with a compass, he would have been hopelessly lost. Again. Just hopelessly lost and headed north. Fuck. You say this you did this on purpose. <laughs> But the point was that he had been lucky, and he was thankful for that. Glancing both ways down the street, he waited for a gap in the cars, before quickly running across the open road to the sidewalk on the other side. The streets were positively bustling with people, so it was easy to merge into the crowds, letting his legs go on autopilot and carrying him with the people walking down the street while he tried to think. He had gotten to civilization. Check that one off the list. Done and taken care of. All wrapped up and good to go. Now what? The idea of working in baby steps worked, but that implied he had some kind of overall goal. Or at least an idea of what he was supposed to do after he found people. But to be honest, he was at a loss. He didn't know what to do. He didn't know where he was supposed to go. He didn't even know where he was supposed to be. He didn't even know his own name. How was he supposed to take the next step forward when he had no leads to start off in the first place? He had nothing. Getting to civilization in the first place meant absolutely nothing if he had didn't have anything to go off of. Instead of being literally lost for a forest in a forest somewhere, he was figuratively lost in his own mind. It didn't matter where he happened to be standing. He could be anywhere in the world 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 and it wouldn't change the fact he couldn't do anything. He was fucking useless. Clenching his jaw, he cl clutched the broken gun closer to him. His knuckles quickly turning white as his feet came to a stall in the middle of the sidewalk. People and conversations passed by as he remained still, at least until someone bumped into his shoulder and nearly sent him sprawling onto the cement. Rude. Gathering up enough sense to move out of the way, he managed to stumble to the far side of the sidewalk and press his back against the wall, his breath catching in his throat in surprise. He couldn't breathe. He couldn't do... He couldn't do even think right. Couldn't do even... Uh, and now here he was choking on his own useless breath. His eyes squeezed shut around... Turned, shut, turned around? What? Uh, it's just me. It's just me. Maybe it's just me. His eyes squeezed shut, turned around, turning his back on the crowd. He needed to calm down. He needed to focus. He needed to... He needed to... Breathe, motherfucker. Gradually, his fingers relaxed until he... W ugh, ugh, fuck! Shut up! Until he was loosely cradling the gun, cradling the gun once more. Sir, shut up. I know y'all laughing. His shoulders fell slightly as he gla gradually opened his eyes, staring at his own reflection in the smooth glass of the building he had come to rest against. He looks positively awful. He hadn't actually had a look at himself since he woke up, and with his one-track mind, he had somehow managed to avoid to topic to avoid the topic of what he actually looked like. And to be honest, he didn't like what he saw. Fuck, I wouldn't like what I see either, man. 
Grimacing, he gently lifted his bandaged right hand to the right side of his face, pla placing a co- <sighs> Placing a curious hand over one of the terrible gashes that ran across his cheek to dangerously close to his eye. While the injury was no longer actively bleeding, it was still tender to the touch, and he quickly moved his fingers away with a small hiss. Oof. But even if his face wasn't bleeding anymore, the bandages on his arm, how bad he missed that, were bloodied in small patches. The accident he had been in had been far, far enough away for his face to heal, but not whatever happened to him beneath the bandages on his arm. Based on his face alone, it seemed like a miracle he could even move the limb at all. How he had not noticed he had been injured? This wasn't a paper cut. How was he not in a hospital right now? His gaze finally drifted away from his scarred reflection, shifting a piece of paper taped crudely to the window. Studying the paper, he inhaled sharply, reaching a hand out to grasp the corner of the paper. Ah, that would make sense. Tearing the paper from the window abruptly, he glanced over his shoulder at the crowds before shying into the alley between two buildings. Seeking refuge amongst the garbage and filth, retreating several feet back before daring to look at the paper again, he took a shaky breath before staring down at the paper. There, right in the middle, was an image of him. Well, an image of him without the injuries and wearing an entirely different outfit, but to the side of his face that was unmarked, unmarred, the likeliness was unmistakable. It was him. On a motherfucking wanted poster. Shit, what did you do? <laughs> Cracking a sorry excuse for a smile, he chuckled, slowly sitting down on the damp floor of the alley, staring at the paper he was holding. The broken red gun lay across his folded legs, allowing him to grasp both corners of the paper and hold it easier to write, read the writing. Well, he had wanted a lead on who he was. What better lead could he get than a name? Sure, it didn't sound anything like a real name, but he had a significant alias, at least. After all, someone didn't get a name like Red Leader doing nothing. Oof, okay. I want to go on to chapter three! But I'm a wait. <laughs> I'm a wait. I'm doing this chapter by chapter this time. 32! Wasn't it? 32. That's going to be fun. But anyway, yep. Make sure to hit that like or subscribe button. They're kinky little bastards. They enjoy a good hit. Dork out.